Tour. Let's tell you that the Federal High Court in Abuja has nullified and set aside the passage of the 2024 River State Budget by Edison Ahir. Justice James Omotosho, in a judgment, recognized Martin Amaiwole as the authentic speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Judiciary correspondent Celestine Iria reports. Constitutionally. All actions taken by Edison Ehi as the Speaker of River State House of Assembly and three others have been nullified by the court. Governor Fubara will now have to represent the budget to the legally constituted House of Assembly under the leadership of Martin Amehuli. The court also restrained Governor Fubara from frustrating the activities of the House of Assembly under Mr. Amehuli. The court insists the National Assembly has no power to take over the activities of the Riverside House of Assembly when it still performs its legislative duties. The Inspector General of Police have been ordered to give protection to Martin Amehuli. The court also ruled that withholding of the State House of Assembly funds by the Governor is unconstitutional. Also, the redeployment of the clerk and deputy clerk by the Governor is non and void. Justice Amotosho ordered the clerk and the deputy clerk to resume office immediately and unhindered. Governor Fubara was ordered to release all monies staying in the credit of the House of Assembly to Martin Amehuli. Clear, in clear terms, um, condemned various acts of the 11 defendant that is the governor and equally the acts of the Honorable uh, Ehi Edison who are purported to be the speaker. The governor, the, his lordship, in declared terms, declared that as of today, the National Assembly do not have any reason or justification to take over the constitutional functions of the River State of House of Assembly. The doctrine of separation of power is to allow the three arms of government, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary act independently without undue interference, but also ensuring there are checks and balances. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. TVC News Uche Okoro is joining us live from Port Harcourt to tell us what the mood is in the state capital after the judgment. Uche, how exactly are interested parties in this case, and especially the River State House of Assembly, reacting to the judgment? Well, uh, there is no uh, much of uh, um, an air of excitement in the State of the House of Assembly because you know that the Assembly have been going about their legislative activities right from the start of this crisis, uh, you know, unbothered as it were. Uh, of course, you know that their activities uh, reached a, a, a certain crescendo when the President intervened. That more or less gave them some form of... Uh, legitimacy when the president intervened um, back in december to to, to for them to be recognized as uh, the uh, the the as the river state house of assembly so since then the assembly has been meeting this year they've so far had four uh, they've so far has four sessions at the uh, makeshift uh, assembly complex at the house of assembly quarters so so far they've been meeting so this for them uh, this isn't uh, this hasn't changed anything uh, they've been meeting. Uh, this doesn't. This hasn't uh, added or taken away anything from them. Because as far as they are concerned, this has simply um, emphasized or stressed what what they have been saying from the outset that there has never been any division in, in the River State House of Assembly. Uh, the River State House of Assembly has remained one. Has, has always had one speaker, and that is Martin Amirule, and that is simply what this judgment has emphasized. As for the other side, uh, they've not been known to. Uh, be very reactionary to these uh, issues and very reactionary as well to what has emanated from the court so far. So it is, it is not surprising that we've, we're yet to hear uh, from them uh, mm -hmm. uh, so far since the, uh, that judgment was delivered in Abuja. All right, Uche, but what is the implication of this judgment and what should we expect? We expect, uh, of course, if, uh, if, the, if the, we, 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 we know how when it comes to implementation or carrying out court orders, we, we all know how that goes. But if uh, this judgment is to be fully implemented, we expect uh, the governor to, pre uh, to appear before this assembly and present uh, that budget. Now, of course, there are, the, the, the judgment today was a very, quite a comprehensive one, covered a lot of issues, 
uh, giving a directive to the governor, giving a directive to the, to the inspector general of police and so on. But the elephant in the room here is the presentation of the budget. Many have argued about the legitimacy of that kind of budget presented twice. A number of persons have gone to court to restrain the governor from representing the budget before the House of Assembly. So what everyone will be expecting now as a result of what the Federal High Court in Abuja has, has done is to see what will the River State government do, what will the River State governor do, will they come to re present that budget afresh before this House of Assembly? And if they do, will, those action, will that action be considered legitimate in the eyes of the law, considering that that budget has been, uh, as it were, presented before and signed into law. So those are the issues that we expect to see cleared out in the coming days. All right, Uchi Okoro, uh, senior reporter for us there in Port Harcourt. Thank you very much, Uchi.